ask uh, Hena Zuberi from Justice for All to come and say a few words. Assalamu alaikum, bismillah. My name is Hena Zuberi, H-E-N-A-Z-U-B-E-R-I. I'm the director for the Washington Office of Justice for All. I'm also here as an impacted person. I and my family have not been able to contact many of our relatives in India for days. Entire Muslim neighborhoods are empty in Uttar Pradesh, India, fearing mob violence and police brutality. More than 23 people have been killed by police. Phone calls are being tapped by the government and people are extremely scared to get in touch with their relatives overseas. The last message I received from my cousin, I will not share his name or location for fear of reprisal. He said, pray for humanity and stand with the truth. Extremist RSS mobs and police are working hand in hand. RSS, the Rashtriya Sewam Sevak Sangh, is the armed militia which controls India today. This is the militia which killed Gandhi. Just last night, when an RSS mob wielding sticks and rods attacked students and professors at the Jawaharlal Na Lal Nehru University, the police stood by instead of stripping the masked RSS members from attacking unarmed protesters and people at the most prestigious university in the capital city of India. Hundreds of Muslims have been threatened with seizure of property by the Hindu nationalist government in the state of Uttar Pradesh, home to more than 40 million Muslims over demonstrations against the Citizenship Act arbitrary means of thousands of Muslims, arrest, arbitrary arrests of thousands of Muslims, torture combined with unpayable fines have left people in a state of palpable fear. The rise of fascism in India has affected people in all realms of daily life. Many individuals are worried, especially the underprivileged, that they will not be able to prove their citizenship under these new laws. People are frantically trying to get their paperwork in order. However, many do not have the access to documents that will, they will need to prove their citizenship, especially women. In many areas of India, women are recognized by the paperwork of the men in their households. So this is a terrible situation for many of the women in India. Having worked on getting and might I remind you, a small spelling mistake can get you stripped of citizenship. We have seen this in Assam, where people are being denied citizenship based on small spelling mistakes made by government officials. And if we just take an 8.8% mistake on, her, on the Aadhaar card, which is the identity card in India, um, that would affect millions of people. Having worked on getting the Rohingya genocide internationally recognized, justice for all fears for inter Indian Muslims. We know the early signs when we see them. RSS is a right-wing, nationalistic, paramilitary Hindu national organization. It was formed in 1925 and modeled after the Nazi movement in Germany. Ever since its in inception, it has been involved in numerous acts of violence and vandalism targeting India's religious minorities, Muslims, Sikhs, and Christians. They were involved in the anti-Sikh pogroms in 1984, where more than 85,000 Sikhs were massacred all over India. Members of this group were involved. This group has also destroyed the historic Babri Masjid in 1992, and after the demolition of the mosque, thousands of Muslims were massacred all over India. Justice for All and its allies asked the U.S. Secretary of State to designate RSS as a foreign terrorist organization and demand <coughs> all funding to RSS via its various fronts be dropped from the United be stopped from the United States. We also asked the U.S. and Senate. Foreign Relations Committee to urgently visit India on a fact-finding mission since the Indian media is not fully reporting the real situation. Until India allows such a fact-finding mission to visit, um, uh, until India allows the U.S. fact-finding mission to visit India, the United States should withhold any further trade negotiations with India. Thank you.